lovelies. So today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I feel like I say that all the time. I know I haven't posted in a while and so I'm going to make my New Year's resolution to post a new video every single week and I've got people that are going to hold me to it. And the trick with it is, is if I don't post a video then they get to choose a punishment for me that can turn into a video for the next week. So depending on how that works. So to, today is New Year's Eve. It is currently 11.30 uh, a.m. and I'm really tired because I've been awake all night. So I work third shift and I work tonight, which means I will be working ringing in the new year. And I didn't want that to be something that frustrated me, something that um, frustrated everybody else I was working with. So I'm trying to make it fun and festive. I went and bought decorations um, or silly hats and masks and those kinds of things. Um, so that you know people could take pictures and I'm, I have people bringing food and we're gonna dress up and it's gonna be fun And I'm really excited about it. So I decided I'm gonna make a dessert that my mom and dad really like um, And I haven't had it in forever and I haven't made it in years in so many years <sighs> If you have watched my cooking fails video which I will link somewhere, I don't know, info card or in the description or at the end of the video, something, I'll figure it out. If you've watched that video, then you will know I'm really bad in the kitchen. So I was like, what better to make a perfect video than to try to cook something, probably fail, hopefully not, um, and see how it goes. So you guys are gonna come on, on my journey with me to make a delicious dessert to take to work with me tonight. So here we go. <laughs> this is the cookbook that my mommy made for me because she loves me and she wants us to have, well, me and my sisters. We each have our own copy. So, under desserts. So what we're gonna make in today is called Holy Smoke. But I really like this dessert. Um, it's kind of like, so it's kind of like a layered dessert. Um, you have your crust and then you have whipped cream cheese and Cool Whip. Um, and then pudding and whipped cream on top. Cool whip on top. Same difference. So there's gonna be a lot of this where you don't see my face because I don't know how to fit my face in the frame. Um, and I kind of wanted you guys to see what I was doing like over my shoulder. So we're gonna try this, see how it works. The first thing I'll need. So, you'll wanna start. My mom has had this thing forever. <laughs> I don't. It's a chopper. It's just a chopper. So we're starting with the crust. So I'm gonna make this two ways. Um, the way that it's made in the uh, recipe, hi honey, is you get pecans, you chop them up really fine, um, or crush them up really fine, whatever you can do. Um, and then you mix it with flour and butter and spread it on the bottom of your pan, bake it for a little bit. We'll get to that in a minute, but um, I'm gonna make it two ways because I don't, I don't want anyone who has an allergy to not be able to enjoy the dessert. Yeah, I'm gonna make one of them with pecans as the recipe intends, and the other one I'm gonna make with graham crackers. You'll need a measuring cup. Okay, so you need to start with a cup of pecans. We have our cup of pecans. Oh, I messed up! No! Hang on. I can fix this. There we go. Now, well, now, you put in your pecans. I don't know if that's gonna chop all of them up, but we're gonna find out. Wait, why are you not doing it wrong? What is going on? Oh, oh! Guys, I'm an idiot. I have to take the lid off first. Now, you scared the lid in place. Skirt? Skirt the lid in place? This is gonna be really loud. Okay, that seems good enough. All right, so now, take the lid off first. Then you take this piece out. There we go. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, all right, so you've got your pecans. Uh, finely chopped or crushed. Either way you did it. I need a stick and a half of melted butter. So, oh no, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, well at least I realize this now. Um, okay, so I don't 
remember if I said this or not, but this recipe is made in a 9x13 pan. Um, and I didn't want to make 9x13 because that's a really, it's like, it's like this big. It's like really big. So I got smaller ones, which means I need to cut the recipe like in half. But this is just for the crust. It'll be fine. Plus I need butter for the, never mind. It works out. Everything's fine. Everything's great. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to get some graham crackers. This probably would chop up the graham crackers just fine, but I feel like it would be easier to do it um, just like crushing it up in a, <clears throat> just like crushing it up in a bag. Okay, that should be enough graham crackers, I think. Hopefully. This is a meat tenderizer, but it should work pretty well for crushing these things up. So, let's go. Okay, cool. So now I have a bag of gra crushed graham crackers for the other crust. Sweet. So now, I don't know if you can see, you can't see it. Um, the butter's very melted. I just want to make sure it's melted evenly so that it doesn't, we don't have like clumps of butter. Because that would be weird. Okay. Um, should I wash these? Yeah, it's got glue in it, so I should probably wash them. Now, pans are clean. So, I think I need a bowl. Oh, okie dokie. So, one bowl for our pecans. One bowl for the graham crackers. So I'm trying to remember exactly what my mom told me. I think she said it would be okay to just crush up the graham crackers, put a little bit of butter on it, and then pat it into the pan. Um, so I'm gonna do that, but this one with the pecans actually requires a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, and then I have to bake it Oh, I should probably start the oven. Should have done that a while ago. Okay, so we're gonna dump the pecans into this bowl. Okay, okay. My mom has everything. It's easiest to get flour out of the bowl, out of the bowl, out of the bag with these little measuring cups because they're really thin. And you just scrape it, make sure it's even on the top, and dump it in. Um. I didn't think this through at all. So the problem that I'm having now is I didn't, <laughs> I'm an idiot. So I didn't think to cut the pecans or the flour in half. And for this mixture, it requires a stick and a half of melted butter. So I'm gonna have to just make this, throw away the extra and then melt more butter for this one. But it's okay, we're gonna make it work. And then we're gonna pour it in. Woo! Okay, then we're gonna take our spoon, we're gonna mix it up real good. So good, it smells so good. Pecan smells so good, okay. I threw my bowl in the sink. I'll take it in a bowl. I threw both the bowls in the sink. Okay. Oh, dokie. So the pecan one is done. Now I'm gonna melt more butter to get the graham cracker one done. What am I doing? Oh, shut up. It's reminding me it's noon. I'm just thinking about how early I'm gonna have to get up later. Cause like I said, I work third shift, so I usually get up around five or 5.30, I guess. And then I'll get ready and go to work. But I might have to wake up earlier than that because I told everybody I'm getting dressed up. Like I'm getting nice. Um. I'll try to include like pictures at the end of this video so that you can see. So we're gonna pat out the crust into the pan. Whoa, goodness, I'm throwing it everywhere. Okay, so just pat it out into the bottom of your pan so that it kind of looks, you know, good and even. I don't know what to do with the rest of that. I don't have an extra pan. Oh yeah, I do. I totally do. Oh, I can make one to keep here. So if I have extra ingredients, they'll just go into this pan. Now for the graham cracker crust. I'm worried about this one. It smells like Ritz crackers. It doesn't smell like graham crackers. Probably because of the butter. Oh, tell me I don't have enough to cover this whole pan. All right, so I have it patted out and I'm kind of scared to tip it up, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, I just did this, I just did the same thing that I did with the pecan crust, except this is not as stiff. It's 
really grainy, like wet sand. So I'm gonna throw it in the oven. So while that's cooking or baking, I think I need to go ahead and start on the cream cheese layer. So this part is gonna be a lot simpler, except I have to kind of add half to it. This is hard to do with nails. Add. Okay. okay, basically for two things of cream cheese, you're gonna need 16 ounces of Cool Whip. So that's what we're gonna do. There we go. All right, cool. So I got that. I'm glad I used this one first because this one's not thought out all the way. I think I need a bigger bowl. I definitely need a bigger bowl. I'll take our ingredients. I'll just dump them in. How much powder sugar? Oh, I just realized we're doubling it. Okay, so I need two cups. Glad I thought of that before. Oh, I completely forgot to check on the cream cracker crust. No! Oh. Actually, it seems all right. Millie, are you a pretty girl? Oh, look at her, so pretty. There you go. I don't know if they want you in the living room with that. Okay, you just don't make a mess. Thanks. So the oven's going off. Um, everything looks fine, everything looks great. So the graham cracker crust seemed to turn out okay. It looks, as long as I'm gentle with it, it should be okay. But that's what it looks like when it's done. Just in case you weren't though. I should do this more often. I really should do this more often because I like having you guys here to cook with. It makes me feel not lonely. Back to this. I don't know that the cream cheese has softened enough, but we're to find out. Well, okay, that looks fun. I maybe should have cut it into pieces. Uh, I didn't let the cream cheese uh, soften enough. So it's a little bit clumpy. This part's done. So we're gonna take our jello mix and we're gonna follow the instructions on the back. Just kidding. So the recipe says two large boxes and four cups of milk, which would be two cups per box. And I have two boxes. <laughs> so this would be four cups. And this is 3.9. That's not quite half. We'll just add an extra cup. Dump them down in there. Ah! Four cups of milk. That goes in there. You know, I just realized I'm not really reading through my mom's instructions very well. <laughs> I just realized why that mixture came out clumpy. So I was supposed to blend the cream, cream cheese by itself and then mix in the Cool Whip and then add the powdered sugar until everything was mixed. But I didn't do that. I just threw everything into a bowl and went for it. This is why I'm bad in the kitchen. This thankfully just says to make it and then spread it into the mixture. Now, we're gonna get our cream cheese mixture back out. It's just so pretty warm. I'll use whatever's left over to put in mine that I'm keeping. Put a dollop of it in there. You just want a nice even coat. Just like that. Okay. So, same thing. Oh God, okay. All right, so be very careful with this. I think I put too much butter in it. I think that's why it's doing this. But the crust is not staying down. So as I'm spreading this around, it's kind of coming back up if I lift the spoon up. If any of y'all cook uh, or bake, I guess, regularly and kind of have maybe ideas of why the graham cracker crust didn't work and how to make it work. I would really appreciate leaving those in the, those suggestions in the comments below because um, I literally have no idea what else I could have done 
to make that graham cracker crust work. Unless it was because I didn't add the flour. Maybe that was what it was. I don't know. Same thing uh, with the pudding as you did with the cream cheese. Just kind of dollop it in there and then spread it around. I am actually so stoked. I feel really proud of myself because usually if I come up with an idea, I don't really commit to it. I have a big issue with like um, motivation to like actually do things. Um, so when I was like, I was like half joking when I brought up the idea of like getting dressed up for New Year's because I, I didn't have confidence in myself when I said it and I didn't have confidence that people would actually go for it. Um, because I'm not a leader. I'm a very beta person. I'm not a like get things started type person. So when I brought it up, I was like half joking. And then one of my coworkers was like, that's a great idea. No, no, no. I was like, oh, really? You, you like my idea? And I was like really proud of myself and really happy. And so I'm so excited that I'm like actually doing things to like make people happy on New Year's. And all of my coworkers are getting in. Well, most of my coworkers are getting in on it too. I got a bunch of people that are going to like bring food and, you know, drinks and stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm super excited. Super excited. Okay. So that layer's done. Now, the only layer we have left is our Cool Whip on top. Kind of worried about not having enough whipped cream, uh, Cool Whip, to spread around all of these. But I'll make it work. I'll make it work. It'll be fine. So now that you've got all of your layers done, it's done if you don't want to add anything else to it. You can serve it just like this and it's fine. So if you want to, you can take your pecans and just a handful of them, kind of just sprinkle them over the top. Since I, d I want one that doesn't have any like allergy, worry, concern things at all, I bought chocolate chips to put on the graham cracker one. I don't know what else you could you could put on top of this, but I mean anything else you could think of that would be good on top of it. My, I think my mom said like strawberries or you know any kind of fruit like that um, would be pretty good. I guess if you want to do like mini marshmallows, you could do that too. It's one o'clock. I'm not getting any sleep today. And they're all done. That's what they look like. Then they're gonna get devoured. And it's gonna be awesome. All right, cool. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Um, if you want to see more content by me, then go ahead and hit subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading every single week. That's my New Year's resolution. I've got people holding me to it. Um, and if you can think of any ideas for future videos that you would like to see, go ahead and comment those down below. And as always, stay magical, my friends.